Just like a light bulb in a dark room, your brain is the powerhouse that lights up your personality. It shapes your thoughts, stores information, and helps you with day-to-day -day activities. Now think of this light bulb flickering, slowly diminishing in its ability to guide you with day-to-day -day activities. Think of adults in your family who often complain that they tire easily, have trouble paying attention, or just can't remember things as well as they used to. That's the reality of many Canadians who go on to develop dementia later on in life. Dementia is a disorder caused by a brain disease or injury, and it is marked by memory problems. In fact, the social and economic burden of dementia is set to double in the next 20 years for seemingly healthy adults such as you and I. Now this raises an important question. Who exactly is at the greatest risk of developing dementia? The answer is quite simple. Dementia and mini stroke share common modifiable risk factors such as high blood pressure, heart disease, and obesity. And in fact, mini stroke and in fact, mini stroke patients are four times more likely to have dementia later on in life and experience memory problems. But all is not lost. My research poses a simple question. Can we reliably identify dementia risk in mini stroke patients through brain scans and simple paper and pencil based memory tests? If yes, what is the exact nature of these memory problems? Meaning are they related to speech abilities? How fast you can do a task or remember a list of words? Two, what are the brain areas implicated in these memory problems? And three, can we figure out some risk reduction strategies to lower our risk of having a mini stroke. 62,000 strokes are admitted to the emergency department in Canada each year. That's one every nine minutes and the length of three presentations you have just sat through. Now, even though we cannot exchange our aging brain for a new one like we can with a dying light bulb, we can certainly reduce the risk of us having a mini stroke. And we can do this by implementing healthy lifestyle habits, such as reducing our risk of having a mini stroke and developing subsequent late life dementia. Lights out does not have to be the end of this conversation. Thank you.